Hello, and welcome to ERP Tips and Tricks. Today, Sachin Thakri will be walking us through how to create a purchase order. Sachin will be breaking the process down into four easy-to-follow parts. The first one is the header. Take it away, Sachin. Good day, everyone. Um, I'm going to log into SysPro as we always do, um, and to take you from the logging screen right into our SysPro with solar entry screen. So this is the login page. You log in from here. That's the uh, initial logins in SysPro, what you normally do. That's your home page where you see that um, and you get into the purchase order entry screen right away. So today, first, we are going to look at the purchase order header entry. When you come to the screen, you will see a supplier because you are going to create a new purchase order. You will need to enter a supplier. Here, you could search your supplier by name or by number. Any of those options are possible. You will click on that supplier name and do select. The moment you do that, the supplier information will be auto-filled onto the header information. So the purchase order header, the supplier information, that's what is driven by the supplier master. So here you see, the moment I enter that supplier, um, the purchase order date, date got defaulted. The due date is defaulted. Uh, you could always have a different due date default to be set up. But by default, it will take up the same date the, the purchase order due date is. Purchase order date is. Um, other information on this header would be uh, if there are rates or if there are memo dates which you need to maintain. If you have some memos to be maintained in the purchase order, you could do that and have some dates for yourself uh, when to use that memos using the memo code. But primarily, it's more of a free free form field where you could enter text and you know have it uh, coded there. Other important field, primary is the buyer. So buyer would be the person who is supposed to be buying or creating a purchase order for the supplier. So that would be your buyer. You could uh, e either search by the list, whichever the, the buyers you have, or you could actually go and type the name so that that code would prompt up okay so that's the buyer uh, if this buyer is maintained on the supplier uh, as 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 a default then when you enter the supplier code at the top this will automatically fill in um, if there is a tax uh, for uh, for your jurisdiction or you're creating POs where there is tax uh, you you would you know select the tax taxable but by default, it was always good to accept. AP invoice terms uh, would be always generally the, the terms where the 30 days, net 30, and net 60 will be maintained. Uh, you could select any of those, click select, and you would have that given. If Again, as I said, if this payment term, invoice term, is actually maintained on the supplier master, it would come default. Um, the purchase order type, is kind of you know either you do domestic purchasing or you do imports so there are the two types which are standard in syspro which have been defined so for doing any uh, purchase orders within for any u.s supplier you would always go with the local uh, payment terms are again they are not mandatory but if they are maintained they would be maintained here it's not a validated fee that could be maintained as uh, required by the customers or the suppliers. Um, customers and the customer purchase order number, this is if you want to reference your purchase order to any customer, then that's where you would enter the customer number, which is in your customer master. Um, and again, if there is a customer PO number, which is associated with that, that would be under the customer PO number. Shipping instructions could be either by road, by FedEx. Those inf informations can be maintained here and sent out on the purchase order to the 
vendor or to the supplier okay uh, delivery addresses is where you would actually maintain that delivery address where you want this to be delivered and uh, select the delivery address uh, uh, you, you know you, you could if if it's not the default one where you're creating a purchase order you could go into the select option and see if you have multiple uh, purchase order delivery addresses so generally it's the default the company address which you are seeing here or if there are multiple of those then there will be some maintained here like the one you see here is a different delivery address so the moment you select that you that address will come up and you can save it that would change the address here the delivery address and it is it's for a different uh, location you are creating on the right side here you you are seeing the supplier information which this completes the first part of our process on how to create a purchase order with the header section check back for our second part on how to create a purchase order by adding the stock line thank you Thank you, Sachin. Be sure to like and subscribe to Crawford Software YouTube channel in order to stay connected with all the best ERP tips and tricks. Thank you.